as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. Smokey, what's going on, bruh? You over there smoking and shit? Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here's Stafford. He'll buy some time right. And his first pass is incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Here's second and ten. Yeah. That's so what it is. Stanford. Like yeah. that's out to the flat for Acres. And he's gonna get a good gain of this nine here so to the Sorry, like, that's dumb. I just play number three. I think they should get you to be sure. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me. Doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen down. third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board, and they're able to avoid that three and out. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Stafford. They'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 34-yard line. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cooper Cup. 34 yards and the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead extra point by Gay is up and good and that makes the score 7-0 following the touchdown here's Gay to kick it away Reed going to bring it out of the end zone Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. 
Robinson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. On second and nine, Wilson. He'll check that down to Carson. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up a third down. Now it's Wilson. On the move, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Von Miller drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go. There is a hush indeed. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And out will come the offense as they take over. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Stafford. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Try to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Stafford. comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Stafford will stay out there. He'll lead his guys up to go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Stafford. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And it's Fuck incomplete. Out of here. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. First and ten. Here's Rashad Penny, first carry for the former San Diego State Aztec. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Rashad Penny. 13-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. Mm -hmm. 
What's up, young man? Good morning. It's all good. Yeah, I got this new defense that's shutting them down, bro. Yeah, trying out this new defense. Because they've been hurting me with that cup. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't find out to shut his ass down. There ain't no secret, it's just the defense I'm playing. Yeah. Um, I play a, a, a four quarter. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I play. And that will shut him down. It, it gets you with that little back stuff, but, uh, you know. Yeah, I can catch that. I, I'm not worried about that. These two teams all tied after one. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and ten at the 43. Out of the gun, Stafford. Flushed out right. And he'll just get rid of it. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers. Yeah, I'm forcing him to run. <laughs> but I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next yeah, he can't run. Before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Yeah. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll run out of the gun. Mm -hmm. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. The Rams on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Stafford now to throw. Ah, and he's going to get this play. down near the 30 yard line. Yeah. yeah, he had to catch that. He was nervous, though. Connections. He was nervous. He threw he threw an interception. Mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence, big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. So first and ten now from the thirty. Stafford going to give mm. the Acres on the draw and inside the twenty before he's brought down. All right, All right go for it. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Akers. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it. But don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. They'll try the jet sweep. Stafford pops it forward. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Stafford escaping the pressure right. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. 
These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. Looking to throw. Stafford flush to his right. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Rams have taken the lead. So the call's made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this will go to Carson out wide. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they're going to have a third down. They run it with Carson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Carson. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try to run with Carson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Myers connects on the PAT. We are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one was...
will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line as they take over here with 11 seconds remaining. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. drive the Seahawks offense second half begins with a run from Penny and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it well sometimes as a running back you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be but in this case there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. From the 27, Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end okay. of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see. That's all good. Backs. Yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Mm. Did you play your season game? Franchise game? Second one. On second down now. It's Carson. Yeah. Then I can move. Uh, um, move. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. I'll play mine. He can't stop the run. Nah, he can't stop the run. Yeah, yeah. Yep. When I see you can't stop the run, I'll take, I'll, I'll take your game away from you. Yeah, that's it. But a lot of people can't stop the run on here. I practice on stopping the run. Yeah, see? Yeah. 
set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Yeah. Everybody wants to advance <laughs> the ball through the air. They've got to get their time. Yeah, I back. thought he was. I know. Really. The 37 on first and 10. Now it's Stafford. Mm. Quick pass right. to Cup. And my fault. He'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I thought Couple he was going to run. Right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Here's Stafford. Yeah, I like put I like running my guy on him to, to, to you know it gets them nervous. Yeah, it get it get nervous for them when they see that man coming in there. They don't know what to do. So they forget about the man running downstairs and they worry about the man in front of them. Third quarter of a tight yeah. football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now the defense is going to use the first of their timeouts. That will leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Yeah, I don't blitz. I don't. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as See? he looks to throw. See? And this will See? take it in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw let him Even though too far and brings up third down. He got you know. We'll do this one is a important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Oh, my fault. Why you chased him? Should have stayed on cup, man. That's all I want about. I'm going to let him do what he want to do. I don't care. <laughs> all right. Let him run it down. He's going to try to run this shit over here. here. This is Cobb. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Yeah, but I ain't worried about that. He ain't. It's hard to score down here on the, um. So what I do, this is called logging them to sleep. Just let them beat up the clock, beat up the clock, beat up the clock, beat up the clock. That's all. Yep. Stop them a couple of times. Come on, man. Pulled them like Good three yards. <laughs> exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first Me downs. Too. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, Acres. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. He got a score. That's all I know. A looming decision oh. to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to yeah. score as they come up on first.
first and goal. Oh, that was nice. And he maneuvers his way down to the three yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. It's a bit of a dangerous yeah, that was a nice play. To break into their bag of tricks, but for a minute there, I thought it was going to set up perfectly for him. Instead, they don't get into the end zone, but they do pick up positive yardage. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Uh oh. Akers. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now, oh, third, I am. do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it uh -huh. twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action throw the ball. I say commit mm -hmm. to the run and think about it being four down territory. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Yeah, I, yeah, I play him on. You know we can play a, a rank game. Hold on. Back to throw. Yeah. 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 Interception. You see how me and you talking? Right? So, we go and press the button at the same time. Yeah. You see? Have I been wrong this far? You guys just tell me anytime you want to play a ranked game, you just you guys, yo, let's play a ranked one. Okay. Go to the. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a higher stake. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So it's Seahawks football yep. as we march toward a conclusion. They oh yeah. First and ten as they look to try and finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. Um, did your rain go up? They'll run on first down. Carson, and he's gonna get a solid game. Yeah. Yeah, the loser. So what you need to do is uh, if you get on a winning streak, don't stop till you lose, okay? He can't stop the run. Yeah. Like I'm on a winning streak now and I don't want to stop. Because once you stop and get off, it, 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 you lose your momentum. Yeah. Yeah, you know when you need to back off. Like if you on a, you say if you get on an eight game winning streak, yeah, you back off. Didn't happen. Five yep. yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Yeah. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah, I've been that way too. So I, I get it. 
Yeah, and then you lose. That's why I don't like playing against like the Jets or the, those teams that you think you're gonna win. But if a person play with them, that means they know how to play Matt, and that's all I know. <laughs> yeah. Fifty-six yards the punt that time, twelve on the return. Yeah. Yeah. For the first and ten. I played against the Jets. Uh, when was that? They they bust my ass too. So. Set to begin their next drive. The it was the toughest game. At the line. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense? Uh, it's like them jets and shit. Well, a lot of case. Oh, a leap and he will make the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. Oh. Oh. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come oh, first and 10. Stafford now to throw. And the Seahawks defense gets to him. It's all good. He can't hang. Put pressure on him. It's over. <laughs> well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because... Yeah, I stopped him in the... He didn't score in the last. He threw that interception in the um end zone. Ooh, hurt him. Yep. Charles Davis and all the hard working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon God. Make sure you get out of bounds, screen, get eight yards. That's like 50 players.